Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. This is the Marshall Emberton, a portable speaker from Marshall that is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Now, Marshall is not a new name when it comes to portable speakers. No, but this is the first time they've made something so small. And it is very unique in some ways. For example, instead of having multiple buttons for music and volume controls, it's got a single control knob that handles everything from raising and lowering the volume to skipping tracks, pause, play, and even switching the speaker on and off. And the controls are very simple to operate. For example, you rock the knob this way to control the volume, rock it this way to skip tracks backwards and forwards, press the button to pause and play your music, as well as to switch the speaker on and off. This is something that has worked very well on Marshall headphones, and I'm glad that Marshall has decided to bring this to the Emberton. And this is perhaps the only portable speaker that I know of that's got a 10 level battery indicator. Very, very unique. So aside from its iconic martial look and feel, it's solid rubberized housing, you know, one that gives you a very good grip on it, and it's got a metal grill that looks very nice too, there are plenty of reasons why I like the Emberton's design. And in terms of specs, it's pretty solid too, it's got up to 20 hours of battery on a single charge. It also supports USB-C fast charging, so if you charge this for like 20 minutes, it gives you back 5 hours of playtime. It supports Bluetooth 5.0 and it's got an IPX7 waterproof rating, so this makes it extra rugged, extra durable. As far as its speaker technology is concerned, it's got two speaker drivers inside, both of them are full range drivers, and both of them are each driven by its own 10 watt Class D amplifier, so this is bi amp. It's also got two passive radiators inside for that extra low end. Its price is not super affordable because it's 149 US dollars, but given its build quality, design, and features, it doesn't sound too bad, it's actually quite reasonable. But what would be a deal breaker at this price point is if the Emberton sounded bad, right? But I've got pretty high hopes for this, I mean, Marshall says that this has got something called true stereophonic sound. And it, that sounds to me like something that's supposed to make the speaker sound a lot bigger than it looks. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna play a series of songs at 70% volume because I realized that the Emberton is not able to achieve room filling sound at 50% volume. So 70% volume is more appropriate for this test.
Now I gotta say that the Emberton has got the fundamentals right. The mids are loud and clear, the highs are smooth and clean, and it's got quite a bit of gravitas and thump in the upper bass range too. So the Embertons are gonna sound pretty good for most kinds of music like vocals, winds, strings, and percussions music are gonna sound pretty clean and detailed on the Embertons. But if you're looking for something that can give you like super deep bass extension, this is not it because the Emberton is still, after all, a pretty small speaker. So if you play anything too challenging bass-wise, it will simply distort at the lower bass level. So it's not really recommended. But what it can do, it does pretty well. For example, if you play uh, music that's moderately bassy, right? Your bass is gonna sound like it's still got a lot of gravitas and thump in it. But here's what I really enjoy about the Emberton sound. When I play music on the Emberton, it seems like my music is coming from a much larger speaker, as in the Emberton is able to uh, image my music in a way that makes it seem like part of my music is coming from above the speaker rather than directly in front of it. So this makes the Emberton sound a lot larger than it looks. No, I'm not talking about stereo imaging because honestly, despite what Marshall says on their website, the Emberton's not what I would consider to be a stereo speaker because it cannot produce much of any kind of stereo left-right separation. But what it can do is to image your sound in such a way that it seems like a much larger speaker. And it can maintain this kind of imaging even when you are listening to this speaker from different angles. So uh, assuming now you're listening to the speaker from in front and you decide to move to the side, the speaker can still maintain its imaging to a certain extent. And that's pretty much what I find enjoyable about the Emberton's sound quality. And overall, I feel that this speaker sounds very good for its price and its size. Okay, now we're going to check if there's any audio to video lag when playing videos or playing video games on both an Apple device and an Android device. As usual, the Apple device that I'm going to use is the iPhone SE. For Android, I'll be using the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. First, we're going to check for audio delay when watching a video and then we move on to the gaming audio lag test. So many software updates for both of these headphones that it simply does not make any sense not to take another look because they've both had some improvements to their performance. So I think it's gonna be interesting to see how they compare right now in terms of things like phone call quality, sound quality, and noise cancelling performance. updates for both of these headphones that it simply does not make any sense not to take another look because they've both had some improvements to their performance. So I think it's gonna be interesting to see how they compare right now in terms of things like phone call quality, sound quality, and noise. So when you're watching YouTube videos, whether it be on Apple or Android devices, you're not gonna get any lag at all with the Emberton. But when gaming, since these gaming apps on mobile phones don't have real-time synchronization built into them, you will get a little bit of lag both on Apple and Android devices. And as usual, you're gonna get a little more lag on Android devices compared to Apple devices because Apple devices have tighter integration of Bluetooth into their SOCs. 
So I feel that overall, the Emberton is a very good speaker for its price. It's got a great set of features, it looks good, it feels very rugged, and it sounds great too. Of course, there are some things that I wish the Embertons had, especially at this price point of $149. Number one, I wish it had an app. If it had app support, Marshall will be able to introduce some pretty cool features that other speakers like the UE Boom 3 and the JBL Flip 5 have, uh, like being able to uh, customize its sound quality to a certain degree and the ability to link up multiple Emberton speakers together to form a daisy chain, thus filling a bigger area. And given how good the Emberton is at sounding much bigger than it looks, it would be really cool if we could pair the Emberton with another Emberton to make a stereo pair, whether it be through an app or through some pairing process within the speaker. Also, it doesn't have a voice mic on it, so you cannot use it as a hands-free speakerphone for phone calls, and you cannot use it for voice assistance too, but nonetheless, the Marshall Emberton is, in my most humble opinion, a pretty great speaker for its price. It's got great sound quality, it looks good, very rugged design, super easy to uh, operate controls, and it's got a pretty decent set of features too. USB-C charging, up to 20 hours of battery life on a single charge, IPX7 water resistance, uh, Bluetooth 5.0. So in my opinion, with the exception of an app and a voice microphone, the Marshall Emberton has a pretty decent set of features for $149, so it's definitely worth checking out. If you want to check this speaker out, I've included a link to it in the description box. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, and if you did, please show that you like this video by punching that like button with a vengeance, Bruce Lee style, and sharing this video with your friends and family. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one from this channel, please subscribe and ring the notification bell because I upload new videos every single week and this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys soon. If you're a humble person like me, this shirt is a great way to show your friends how humble you really are. And whenever you look in the mirror to admire yourself, of course, it will also help to remind you to always be humble. So guys, this is a pretty fun shirt to wear. You can check it out in the link below. It's available in t-shirt, tank top, and hoodie. Your purchase helps keep this channel going, and I appreciate your support, bros.